do a free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures. We completed basic JavaScript. You can find that on my channel. We are now on ES6 on challenge 5 of 29. So we're going to write arrow functions with parameters. So we just created arrow functions or anonymous functions as they, they like to call them. Um, and we're now going to pass these arrow functions parameters. So if you didn't see the last video, definitely check that out. If you didn't do the last challenge, definitely do that challenge and then come back to this. But all we're going to do here is rewrite this con my concat function, it looks like, uh, using an arrow function syntax. So what does that look like? Well, we know with arrow functions, all we simply do is re you know remove the function keyword and then add the arrow between the parentheses and the um, what do you call it, the actual brackets to the curly braces to open the function up. Uh, so all we have to do is rewrite this using these same variables and then, um, you know, using that arrow syntax. So let's not overcomplicate this. I know I might have, I kind of went into a lot in the last arrow function challenge, kind of explaining why we would use these in this way. But all we have to do for this is, again, we don't ever want to use the var keyword. So let's just say const my concat, and this is going to throw errors as I go because we already have it, but um, my concat equals, and then this is the parentheses we'll pass the parameters or the arguments into, and then arrow, and then the, the brackets to actually have the functions logic. So within these parentheses, it's going to be the exact same as within these. We're going to need array1 and array2. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just going to space this out. That's the exact same syntax as what we have above. And now if we want the exact same thing within the function, we can just say return array one dot concat array two. So all this is doing is combining these two arrays to one. Um, that's what the dot concat method, it concatenates the arrays. Uh, so you can, as you can see, these two functions here are the exact same thing, quite literally the exact same name. and both functions, one just using arrow syntax and the other using classic vanilla JavaScript function syntax. So all we have to do is erase this one. And now if we run this code, we should get a check because that's all it wanted us to do. So that's really all there is to arrow functions, guys. Don't overcomplicate this for yourself. Just take out the function keyword, any parameters get passed in the parentheses and then throw your arrow after the parentheses. So as you can see, name equals params arrows to function the actual function. That's the syntax. You name it, you'd say it's equal to a function with its parameters with the parentheses, and then you arrow into the function. That's all. Okay, so that's all we have to do for this one, guys. As you can see, uh, where you can concatenated the strings properly in the output. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next challenge.